Alright people, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I had swine flu and then I was all busy with school and all that good stuff. So, um, as of now, I'm doing a new channel on media reviews for music, uh, movies, video games, all that good stuff. So, just subscribe and you get all the new stuff that comes out. Here's my first review for a video game, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now I'm about to do a review for one of the greatest GameCube games ever, so don't eat me up here, internet. Alright, for challenge, I give it a 9. Very challenging game if you do the higher difficulty levels. Now if you're like new, and then you play it like on a level 1 computer level, no, you're not going to get no challenge. It's like you gotta play your level. Like I play 8. I don't win all the time, but that's really the reason I play, not to win all the time. For controls, I get a 9.5. The buttons are perfectly mapped on the GameCube controller. Everything just feels really fluent. There's a lot of different choices you can do for each game. You can fly or up to jump, which is nice. I like that. I like to have different variety when I'm doing things. And the L and the R buttons do the same thing, which I really like. I like to have variety when I'm doing things. So the controls nice. Characters. Um, it had more selection than the original Super Smash Bros, but it had less of a selection than Brawl, which would make the characters on this game both medium. They could be more, but there's enough. Some of the characters kind of get lame after a while and you want more, but it takes a while to unlock new characters. You have to do a lot. You have to play the game a lot to unlock the new characters, so you have to be completely committed to this game to get all the good characters. My personal favorite is most of them was Wonder. Now something that this game actually did disappoint me in is the storyline. I give it like a four. There was no storyline. Like Brawl had a nice storyline to it. It had a nice, um, you know, the subspace emissary or whatever. That was really nice. I like that. This game was really nothing. No storyline to it at all. It was just, you go through, there's two, there's actually two. You can go through and kill everyone or do some adventure mode where every once in a while you jump to a different stage with no connection between anything. You just jump randomly everywhere. So I didn't like that part of it. You may be wondering why I picked this game, mainly because I rent it, I have it right now. But, secondly, I picked this over the other two Super Smash Bros. because Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it seems like they're doing too much with it. It seems like they're trying to push a lot of stuff, like the Sega and Sonic and Snake and all that stuff. And it seems like in the original Super Smash Bros. there's not enough. It feels like it just kind of left hanging. There's like nothing there. So that's why I like the middle one. It's not too much, not too little. Nice gameplay. Probably the best game Nintendo's ever made. In my opinion, you can eat me up. Conduit, Super Smash Bros. I mean, Super Mario. Whatever. I think this is the best Nintendo game ever. Now my last little category of review here would be rent, buy, or just ignore. Ignore, definitely out of the question. Um, rent or buy, I would buy, mainly because of the fact that it has, it's mainly for replay value. So you buy it, you just play it, and it's a good thing to play with your friends. Still, I mean, I play it in the morning at school all the time. Video game club? Oh yeah, I play it all the time. Good game. I recommend it to everyone. Thanks for watching this video. My next review will be for the Harry, po Harry Potter mo mo uh, movie series. So look forward to that. I'll be doing that very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.